here, YouTube. I'm back again today for another unboxing video. And today I'm very I'm excited to be unboxing Save the Dragon, the new one from Blue Orange Games. This is for ages 5 plus. It's for 2 to 4 players. Take about 15 minutes to play. And in Save the Dragon, immerse yourself in the role of a prince or princess who is ready to confront obstacles and free a dragon from the dangers of stone-throwing sorcerers. Okay, that's a really interesting theme. And look at the back of that box. That is gets me excited that looks really stinking cool also it tells you the components on the back which is uh interesting interesting nonetheless very cool roll the dice climb the stairs avoid boulders and free the dragons and let's see what we got here look at those look at those those now that is a pawn baby those are big and chunky. I'm not the biggest fan of the colors personally, but I actually I really like that green. I would pick that green. Uh, but man, that those are some nice stinking pawns. All right, let's take a look at the dice. And you guessed it. Yeah, big, chunky dice. Loving it. And there's our cannonball. It's not... It's like... That's a weird... It's not plastic. Like, I'm not going to squeeze it. It's not going to like... It's not a ball interesting it doesn't taste like anything i don't know why i put it in my mouth <laughs> what am i doing really nice dice look at these these are not stickered no not stickered these are printed on i love how these dice look just okay and we got this oh fancy A little protection in the box let's see what else we got so should we set it up should we set it up should we try do we dare how much is there Let's see first. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll risk it for the biscuit. Let's see. I think this is a good example. How easy is it going to be to set this up? We're not going to punch out any of the other stuff. We won't need the coins. You know what coins look like. I've seen coins. Everything pops out nice, though, so I do want to say that that feels good. This big old dragon. Three windows. All right. Let's see. How easy did they make it? Can I do it? So, set it up. Okay, so... We slide that into there. Step one. Okay, step one. Very, very simple. Let's see. What's step two right here? We take these dudes, these little wizards, and we do this. Is that what we're doing? No, that's not what we're doing. Don't screw this up. Don't screw this up. All right, don't screw it up. Oh, my gosh. I can't figure it out. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this this holds up this. Okay. Oh, like this. Oh, I see. I see. Like this. Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe. No. That's not it. Okay. Position the Danish dragon's room at the top of the keep. Place the players, princes, and princes at the bottom of the staircase. No, this isn't the assembly. Maybe it is. Four. Where's two? Two. Okay. So what, what piece is this? Okay. This is this piece. But they showed it at a really odd angle. I'm not. I'm not sure about. Like, cause yeah, I, this is this is this piece, but it's it shows it like it's. You see what I'm saying? It's very it's very interesting. All right, so let's see. I gotta set it like this. Okay. So the okay okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. Look to the picture like this maybe. Nope, that's not it. Oh, that bend. That's not good. That should not be bending. Don't bend. Oh, this is from this is this is rough. This is a rough one right here. I'm not gonna lie. Is there a step by step guide to this? Alright. Clear head, full hearts, can't lose. Assembling the 3D keep. We're gonna do this. Place the staircase in the game box to wedge it in place. That's the staircase. Okay. Um, so the staircase goes in the game box. To wedge it in place. There, oh, right here. So place the staircase in there. Okay. Oh, I, oh, I see. I see your tricks. I see your tricks now. Oh, that looks very cool. Okay. A lot of the doubt just melted away. That looks really stinking awesome already. But I will say one. There's one here, but then one there, but then one here and one there. I don't like all those ones. Position the dragon's room at the top of the keep. What does that mean? Is this it? I think this is the, the dragon's room. Place the player's... Position the dragon's room at the top of the keep. Randomly place the shield on any of the top notches. In the, no, the shield 
leave the boulder in the box. Okay, they, they don't they don't really they don't make this as easy as I'd like it to be. All right, we, we're gonna see how long this takes a fool like me to accomplish this. This door is is this door important? This door does not look important. This, no, this door it's just gonna go up there. Okay. Okay. So let's let's take a look at the box. It's, no, it's at the back of the box. What in the world? Okay. Let me know in the comments below. Am I crazy? Because you don't break it apart. You obviously don't want to break this apart. This is not supposed to break apart. Like, that is very clearly attached. It says A1, A2. That, is, there, is there something that matches here? A3, A4? Oh, oh, oh. Why don't you tell me this? Why don't the rules tell me that? That's okay. Now we got ourselves some simplicity here. So A1... And A2, right? A1, A2. This is taking a turn. A1 and A2. Is this correct? Is this the right? Oh my gosh, no, it's, no, it just broke. No, it didn't. Okay, it didn't. It did, it did. Oh, this is, this is rough. This is rough. Is that, is that how it's supposed to be? Now I'm second guessing myself. It says A1 and A2. This is A1 and A2. Okay, okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. Let's look at the back of the box. Because it's got it's got it set up. No, it doesn't. It doesn't act. Okay, yes, it does. So that should be behind it. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> there are more instructions that I'm missing here. This is it. This is a different language. This is a different language. Okay. Playing around. This is this is all gameplay. This is all gameplay. So this is what I have. Legend has it. Object of the game. This is it. This is the setup. This is the assembling the 3D keep. When tidying. Okay. Place the staircase in the game box to wedge it in place. We have done that. We're going to go by step by step because there's something I'm clearly missing here. Position the dragon's room at the top of the keep. It's there. Place the player's princess and princess at the bottom of the staircase. Not going to do that. That's for gameplay. Randomly place the shield on any of the notches in the staircase. Randomly place the shield. What is the shield? 12 bonus tokens. Oh, it's a shield. Oh, this is... What is this? Oh, this is the shield. Oh, that just goes on the stairs. That doesn't matter. That's for gameplay once again. Place the door on one of the three possible doorway positions. Okay. How do I do that? Is there... Does it just easily go in there? Is there a, some some sort of mechanism on the back, or am I left to try and guess? This is a rough one. Place the door in one of the three possible doorway positions. But uh, you just skipped the assembly of this. There was no words of assembling this. How does it? Okay, let's just look at the pictures. Look at the, is this? This is supposed to go behind. I can't even tell from the picture. Like, the picture is not... Okay. So this, this is not right. This is this is almost assuredly not right. Because it should not feel like it's about to break. Ah, I don't want to break it. This game looks so cool. <laughs> oh, don't, 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 don't. Oh. It's so delicate. It's so look at that. Look at this. Oh no, it's not good. That's not good. Okay, let's look at these pictures. Okay, so there's there's this. <laughs> I wish you were here. I wish you were actually here so you could help. Someone needs to take. Uh, you know what? This one's about broken. We need to focus on doing it correctly with this one so we can try and salvage that one. Correct. That is the way. That is the play. <clears throat> so. How in the heck do you do this? Like this? What? It's gonna go okay, like this. Like, but but what about the where's it? Where, this, 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 this doesn't make sense. This picture doesn't make any sense. Okay. I'm going to guess they made these rules before they actually physically had the component, and so they had to 3D do this on the computer, which I imagine is terribly difficult um, to do well, as you're seeing right now. All right, so this is a this is a four and a three. So a four 
and A3. How does that even work? How can A4 be... Okay, there we go. A4, A3. We got this. We got this. Clear arts, clear arts, whatever the phrase is. Okay, so this is going to go... Okay, so this is going to go right here. That's it. That's the ticket. Maybe. I think this is it. I think I've solved it. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Now we're in business, and then this one's going to go right over here if it doesn't break. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. Okay. So now we just put the wizards in there, correct? Right? That's the wizards? The wizards? No, that doesn't... How oh, the wizards... How in the... Ah, what the wizards supposed to do? Not like this. Oh, wait. Hmm. Okay, okay. I think I'm, I'm looking at it from a different angle now. I'm looking at it from a different angle. I think I've I think I've solved it. Oh my gosh, this is going to be the longest unboxing ever. You're going to think I'm unboxing Gloomhaven here and going through every single card. Okay, here it is. This picture I think is the one that's going to help the most. This picture is without a doubt the helpful one. I think because it shows me that this. Is going to slide on the back of this. Okay, okay, okay. So this, okay. So it's going to be like, ah, it's going to be like this. That's how it's going to be. You buy this game, you watch this video, and then you give me that subscribe right there through <laughs> the like or anything because I am hopefully helping you not be as frustrated as I am right now. Okay, so, oh, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. We got it. This is it. This is it. Boom. Like that and like this. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. So this one might never go back into the box for me personally. Uh, just because of... So we, then we put this right here. Is that how it goes? Right? That's it? Yep, that's it. Oh, oh, we're going to get you. We're going to get you in there. There we go. And now we can insert the door. How do we insert this door? Let's go in the back. Is there a special slot where it goes? Oh, I do. I see. It goes like that. Very, very nice and clever. I do want to go back to the rules. Okay, so that's cool. That actually looks really good. If the rule booklet would get out of your way. So that looks really cool, and you slide it in there. There's a little spot to do that. So you can see it slid in right there. Very nice. Okay. So very, very cool. Um, and it does feel sturdy now that it's in there. So that's good. I have a feeling this one is just going to stay displayed, perhaps, or maybe I'll see if I can't super glue it. Very cool looking. Then I'm going to guess the ball rolls down. Okay. This looks cool. And, oh, people fall off. Yeah, I bet the people are going to fall off. This is going to be great. Okay, the, the beginning, the setup was a little bit rough. But hopefully the second time around I'll have this no, no problem down. But there you go. That is Save the Dragon. Really cool looking game despite that, <laughs> that component bugaboo there. There you go. That looks like it might be your company of tea. Be sure to check that one out if you're enjoying what I'm doing. Please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.